Have you ever wanted to turn your bike into a sleek chopper or an awesome looking bobber? Well, we bring to you Motocraft Customs, a team of guys who are here to do just that. Hi, I'm Rishabh from Bike Talk and today we are here at Refs Cafe GK1 to talk to the guys behind Motocraft who customize and come up with amazing machines. We spoke to Samik, who's the founder of Motocraft, about how Motocraft came into being. Um, we started riding early on, and uh, bikes were our first love anyway, and it still is. Uh, started building our own bikes, and it just uh, became uh, something that we could take forward. And it was as simple as that. Now we're looking at innovation and uh, functional uh, effectiveness of our bikes. So that's how it is. Um, to make it look desirable and performance, it can set you back from as little as 30,000 rupees and it can go up to whatever you want. But we can start working on a bike at that, that would be a threshold, about a 30k mark, where we can do some minor changes where we will go back to the bike with a happy face. I think the first thing that was told to us was we don't want an out and out chopper looking structure, we don't want a cruiser, we don't have we don't want to stick to a particular genre which is known with ape handles and everything. We try to get it as close as a functional bike. It's a concept model. Um, and if required we can actually transform into a functional bike and put it on the roads. And uh, to add to that I think Abhishek who's here to, with with us today uh, he can say a couple of things about uh, the bike himself. He came up with the idea of cafe and the whole idea was around motorcycle cafe because there isn't any uh, there isn't any motorcycle cafe in Delhi and the whole biking culture was you know growing and we thought that this is the right time for us to come up with a cafe in, in, in a motorcycle cafe in Delhi and we thought hey let's add something more uh, to make it like our like like a signature like something which really stands out and you know gives it that kind of cult feel to it we knew what we didn't want. So we said we don't want a chopper, we don't want a sports bike, we don't want a motocross. Uh, Roadster is somewhere that you know that's the side sort of territory we are in, but that's all we know. Uh, and uh, then rest of it uh, he picked up from there, and then he, and he started building up on basis the brief that yes this is okay, so this is what the color code is going to be, this is what the styling going to be, and then a lot of it. I mean we got to see the bike first time I think after a month or yeah, so, where it was still in a skeleton shape, but that's when we started understanding okay what the final bike is going to really look like and then a lot of other work went on uh, doing the specific parts of the bike to make it look like the way it looks now. Um, Abhimanyu here is uh, the mech head. He takes care of the engines, he takes care of the performance. Um, after the initial brainstorming session and the bike taking shape, he comes in and he fixes all the glitches that we leave behind. Um, Shyam here works, he's a product designer, he works on the initial design, the 3D modeling. Um, he actually does physical toothpick models with functional movement of the bike and everything. So we kind of understand a very organic space where each of us function and that's how it works, I think. Yeah, pretty much. We, actually, uh, we generally uh, use uh, 3D models, but we actually do that later when we want to uh, manufacture some parts. There are a lot of parts that we manufacture also. Like uh, for the new bikes, we actually manufactured uh, the whole gas cap, gas cap on the whole thing. So that was also done from a CAD model. Uh, but before, th unless we go into some manufacturing, we don't really do that. We actually just. Uh, use Photoshop or whatever uh, softwares to get the feeling of the whole uh, physical bike and how it would eventually in the final look like. From the uh, fixing glitches, uh, let's say from practicality, to make them all function in sync, to if you have the person who wants to drive, you want something more from the beast, more from the engine, from sports camshafts to big boat kits to special exhaust tune to your custom engine. You can get all the work done. You can build up ground up engines 
for drag or motocross or whatever, whatever you need is. That was the Motocraft team talking about the Rev Bike project. We'll bring videos of more such projects from Motocraft for you in the near future.